Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, wishing you all a happy and prosperous new year in 2020. This is your weekly tarot reading for Sagittarius for December 30th through January 5th. Thank you for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join us each and every day for my daily readings. And just a reminder that these are general readings. Take what resonates and disregard the rest. And I'm using the Nefertari Tarot Deck and the Eternal Crystals Oracle Cards. Now let's get started. We first have the King of Chalices. The Nine of Wands. And the Eight of Swords. I love this card with the alligator on his back. Very different Eight of Swords card. So, okay, Sagittarius. Now you're starting off your week with the King of Chalices, which is also known as the King of Cups. Now the King of Cups might be an individual that you're dealing with at the beginning of the week, Sagittarius, and this just might be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But since the actual tarot card of the King of Cups is Scorpio's card, that might be the water sign. Now, for some of you Sagittarians, you might be seeking out the counsel of the King of Cups. He's very wise, experienced, emotionally mature, a good listener, and a wonderful advisor. This king, even though a water sign, he keeps his emotions and feelings out of important decisions that he makes. Not that he doesn't care, but he will make rational and careful decisions based on facts and information at hand. That's why so many go to him for advice. Now, for some Sagittarians, this can be your father or a father-type figure. It's generally a more mature individual that has a lot of experience under their belt. This can be a priest, an attorney, some sort of legal counsel, marriage counselor, a boss, or a co-worker. Whatever the issue is at hand or the advice that you need to obtain, it will be different for each Sagittarian. Now, for some Sagittarians, this card showing up can mean that you might be possessing some of the traits of this king at the beginning of the week, and you're the one that is helping and giving some advice to someone. That's always possible. Now, at midweek, Sag, right at the new year, you have the Nine of Wands energy. This is being very guarded and standing your ground and maintaining the status quo. For some of you, this card showing up is serving as a warning that you think you know what to expect and you have your defenses up to protect yourself, but things can turn out differently than we expect and people can certainly surprise us. So be careful of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Sometimes when you expect the worst, that's exactly what you end up getting. So if you're on guard about something, Sag, take note and notice how you got to where you are through your own choices. You're not a victim. And if you're not happy with your current position, you can make a choice to change it. Now, this card's energy could be here because you're just not sure about the upcoming new year of 2020, and you're a little bit on guard about it. It could be as simple as that. But the number nine energy of this card is where it should be. It's about completion. Your year and the decade, for that matter, has been just completed. And you might be taking a look back as to how the last year or even the last decade has gone for you. Okay, now towards the end of the week, Sag, you have the Eight of Swords. What's going on, Sagittarius? The Eight of Swords is about feeling trapped, restricted, no control. 
Now, for some of you, when this card shows up, you're probably thinking that you have no options available, and you may feel unsure by the circumstances in your life or unhappy with others' opinions of you. Most of the time, the Eight of Swords is indicating that your limitations are self-imposed. Most of the time, you're imprisoned by your own way of thinking more than anything else. Now, for some Sagittarians, you're just happy where you're at. But for others, you don't want to remain stuck. So you need to use your thoughts to cut through your limitations. Don't be your own worst enemy. And if you were seeking the advice of the King of Cups, you might want to go back and see him again. Maybe that'll help you change your way of thinking in a more positive and productive way. This is a brand new year, Sagittarius 2020, and a brand new decade. Step into it with a confident and positive energy and create the change that is needed in your life. Now, the three card spread here adds up to 18, which reduces to number nine. And even your spread here numerically is telling you there is completion. Say goodbye to 2019 and move forward into the future with a positive and productive energy. Now let's see your crystal for the week. Selenite, it's about peace. So your guides have chosen the crystal selenite for you, Sagittarius, for this week to give you some peace. This crystal can help you to meditate and quiet your mind and raise your consciousness to create peace in your life. Find a safe and quiet space where you can go to clear your mind from any external pressure and just relax. Sit and concentrate, and as you breathe, affirm to yourself and the universe that peace and serenity surround you. Feel yourself attracting only positive light energy See and feel all negativity disappearing from your energy field. Now, when your mind is peaceful and clear, you can look clearly at situations in your life. You can connect with your higher wisdom and gain insights that can help you on your path. Carry this crystal sage for not only this week, but for going into the year of 2020 to give you peace and serenity. Thank you for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for additional guidance, my website link is below. Love and abundance to my Sagittarian family.